You guys have to try my air fryer bloomin' onion recipe. It always comes out super crispy and delicious. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Onion, flour, you can use regular or gluten-free, panko breadcrumbs, olive oil spray, eggs, ketchup, sour cream, horseradish, mayonnaise, thyme, garlic powder, cayenne, onion powder, paprika, and salt and pepper. And the one piece of special cooking equipment you're gonna need for this recipe is an air fryer. All right, guys, I am so incredibly happy and excited to show you this air fryer bloom and onion recipe. So this is like a throwback to Outback Steakhouse. I don't know how many of you guys have been to Outback Steakhouse. They have a bloom and onion that they made incredibly popular. This was probably like 80s and 90s and early 2000s. I don't even know if there's still Outback Steakhouse. There might be, whatever. This is a great recipe. This air fryer bloomin' onion is obviously the air fryer version of the traditional like deep fried version. I say that this version is as crispy and as delicious as the traditional version and obviously way healthier because we're using a lot less oil in the air fryer. So I hope you guys absolutely love this one. The first thing we need to do for this recipe is to prep our onion. There's a very, very specific way you need to cut this onion if you want that uh, bloomin' onion look. So the first thing you're gonna do is to cut off uh, the very end here, just like this. Now make sure you're cutting off like this, uh, what do we call this? Like the top end, the stem, not the stem, the stem's the other side, the root. Just cut off this end, that's all you need to know. And then what we need to do is we need to take off uh, the skin from the onion. Cut through this sort of outer layer of onion skin, but you don't wanna pierce too many layers underneath. That is very important. Jeez, tough onion skin. All right, I think I got through it. So we're just gonna peel off the outer layer of the onion skin, just like so. Once the skin is mostly off, you just wanna trim off on the uh, root end here, just like that, but you wanna make sure you leave the root intact. Very, very important for this recipe. Probably the most important step of this recipe is not damaging uh, the stem right here. Okay, for the next step in cutting this onion, uh, take your large knife, you wanna put the tip of the knife about a quarter of an inch away from the stem, the root right here, and you don't wanna go any closer than that or you're gonna risk the onion falling apart later in the process. So just give it about a quarter of an inch away, take your knife and just make a deep cut, just like this, all the way through the onion. Now we're gonna repeat this all the way around this onion, probably gonna make anywhere between eight to 12 cuts. It completely depends on how big your onion is. So just take your time and work your way all the way around the onion, just like this. And you'll see how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of stabbing the onion and then bringing the knife down all the way around. And once you're done making your cuts all the way around the onion, just give it a quick flip over to see how you did. And immediately you should start to see it kind of bloom out like a flower. And what you can do is just sort of help the pieces separate a little bit if you can. Be very gentle. You just don't want to pull any of these like sort of onion petals off. And there we go. As a reminder, all the recipes that you see on my YouTube channel are also on my website where I have all the ingredients listed and all the instructions. To find that link, check in the description below the video. Next thing we need to do is to prepare our egg wash. So for that, all you have to do is take two eggs, crack them in a bowl, and just give them a nice whisk. With our egg mixture set aside, what we need to do now is to work on our dry breadcrumbs and spice mixture. So let's start with one cup of uh, panko breadcrumbs. You could also use gluten-free breadcrumbs if you prefer. Just dump that into like a small medium-ish uh, mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add our spices. Let's start with one teaspoon of garlic powder, followed by one teaspoon of onion powder. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of paprika and one teaspoon of cayenne. The cayenne's gonna give this breadcrumb mixture a nice little kick, so don't skip it if you, uh, if you can help it. We're also gonna add one half teaspoon of this dry thyme, and now a half a teaspoon of salt, followed by a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And now let's just give this a quick mix so it's all well combined. So now I have grabbed out a small baking sheet. You could also use just a big plate if you've got that. And next we're gonna sprinkle our flour on top of the onion. The reason why we're gonna do this is because the flour is going to help the onion dry out. It's gonna help absorb any of that excess moisture that's still kind of in on top of or inside of the onion. And that's very important because it's going to then provide a really nice base for the egg wash, which provides a nice base uh, for the breadcrumbs mixture to stick. So all these steps are very important. 
So just sprinkle the flour all over. You don't have to be worried about like making a mess. You don't have to be worried about it uh, collecting at the bottom of the onion. If it does, that's totally fine. I also like to kind of like rub some of the uh, flour in with my fingers, just like this. Okay. And when most of the onion has been coated with the flour, what I like to do is, you have to just be really careful when you do this. So just give this like a little bit of a, you know, turn upside down and a little bit of a pat just to get any of that excess off. Next, we wanna add our egg mixture, just like we did with the flour. Pour it straight over the top here. I'm gonna try to get all of these onion pieces, if you can, all the layers. And don't worry if it runs straight off. It's okay, it's gonna happen a little bit. Don't get frustrated. It's all good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingers and we're just going to rub our fingers into the egg mixture and just rub the egg mixture into this uh, blooming onion. Now your fingers are gonna get pretty sticky and kind of messed up, but that's okay, it's just part of this process. You could wear gloves if you wanted to. Now take your time with this. It really does help to try to get all of this egg mixture really worked into this onion. Okay, all right, for this next step, I'm gonna wash up first, so I'll be right back. All right, clean hands. So next thing we're gonna do is to grab out our breadcrumb mixture. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with the flour and the egg wash. Just sprinkle it right on top of this blooming onion. We wanna to try to get this thing really well coated with these breadcrumbs. They're gonna give you that crunchy fried texture. Don't worry if the breadcrumbs pool at the bottom of the onion, it's totally fine. And as we did before, I like to very carefully just let some of the uh, breadcrumbs fall out from the bottom if they want to. And there we go. This blooming onion is totally prepped and ready for the air fryer. Next, I want you to grab out your air fryer basket, just like this, and your olive oil spray. Now give the air fryer basket a quick and very light spray of olive oil. This is just gonna help uh, to keep the onion from sticking to the bottom. And then very, very carefully, we are going to scoop up this onion with our hands and drop it right into the air fryer basket. And if you're careful, everything should stay intact just like that. Now let's pop this into the air fryer. Again, be very careful. We are gonna cook this blooming onion at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the thickness of your onion. While the onion is cooking in the air fryer, we are going to move on to working on the sauce. So let's start with one quarter cup of mayonnaise and drop that into a small-ish mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of sour cream. Followed by one teaspoon of ketchup. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of horseradish. Now, I haven't cooked a lot with horseradish because, I mean, it's a really strong flavor. You know, you can't use a ton of it, but one teaspoon in this sauce is amazing. And I highly suggest you keep this ingredient in your sauce because it's really amazing. Next, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, followed by a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Last but not least, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Now we're just gonna give this a nice mix until it's all well combined. And this is exactly how your sauce should be looking right now. All right, guys, the 20 minute timer just finished. Let's see how we did. Whoa, right. This blooming onion looks so incredibly uh, crispy and beautifully brown. Now, the next challenge is getting it out of the air fryer basket and onto a plate. But the way that I figured that out is to grab out a uh, spatula just like this and just kind of slide underneath it. If you did spray the basket with olive oil, it should come out pretty seamlessly. And then all you have to do is just lift it out just like that. This blooming onion looks so incredible. I cannot wait to give it a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Air Fryers recipe playlist. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, so what I like to do is grab out a little knife and it helps just to kind of cut some of the uh, onion petals off. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce right here. Mm, my Air Fryer Bloomin' Onion recipe is so similar to Outback Steakhouse, but this is the healthier version. This sauce is incredible. Definitely make the sauce if you're gonna do the onion. I really hope you guys give this one a try. It is incredible. I'll see you in the next video.